Hi everyone, today I will show you how to fix VM Protect SDK 32.dll is missing problem. Before moving on to the video, you can support me by liking the video and deliver this video to people who are looking for this video like you, let's start. Our first solution is to download the missing DLL file and then put it in the system 32 folder. For this, we go to the site where we will download the DLL. I put the link of this site in the description of the video. After entering the site, we scroll down. We click on download, and we're waiting for 5 seconds. We choose where we want to download, and click on save. Our .zip file has been downloaded. We open the file. Then click on File Explorer. Click on this PC. Click on the disk where Windows is installed. We scroll down and find the Windows folder. Go to the letter S and find the System32 folder. We drag and drop the DLL file that we have downloaded to the System32 folder. In this way, we have threw the missing DLL into the system folder. This was our first solution. If this solution didn't work, let's move on to the second solution. Our second solution, if the DLL file we have downloaded does not work in the system folder, is to throw the error in the folder where the program or the game is installed. Since I got the error in Roblox, I'm going to put it in the file where Roblox is installed. For this, we open the .zip folder that we have downloaded in the first solution. Then right-click on Roblox and click Open File Location. Drag and drop file here. Since the missing DLL file is here when running the application, it will work without any problems. And this was our second solution. If this solution worked, don't forget to mention it in the comments. Let's move on to the third solution. Our third solution is to install two programs from Microsoft on computer. These two programs install the missing DLLs on computer. In this way, we will have added the missing DLL to computer. I will put the link of both programs in the video description. First, we'll download DirectX. Scroll down and click download without changing anything. We select the location we want to download and click save. Then click on the second program link. As you can see here, there are multiple download links. In this section, you need to download whichever bit your computer is. Right click on the Windows logo to see how many bits your computer has. Click on system. In the system type section, it says how many bits our computer has. I'm downloading x64 because my computer is 64 bit. We choose where we want to download. Both programs are downloaded. We close the browser. Since I have both programs installed, the installation process will take less time. It may take you a little more time. Click on the first program we downloaded. Select, I accept the agreement. Click on next. In this part, we untick the install the Bing bar box. We do not need Bing. Click on next, and we are waiting for the installation to finish. Click finish, then click on the second program. Here it says repair and remove because I have it installed before. It will write install for you. You have to click on install. We are waiting for the installation to finish. Installation is finished. After this process is over, we restart our computer once. After restarting, our problem will be solved. This was our third and final solution. We have come to the end of the video. I hope one of these solutions fixed your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to like the video. You can also subscribe to my channel to support me. Take care, and see you in the next video.